Howdy, howdy, folks. It is Diecast Buffet here again. Welcome back to NASCAR Thunder 2003. It's time for race 18 out of 36, the Pepsi 400, the final race of the wild card stretch. Let me tell you, folks, the last two races have been insane. Jimmy Johnson wins at Sonoma. We wreck out there. Sterling Marlin holds off Ryan Newman and Jeff Gordon for the win at the Daytona Road Course. He joins the ranks of Casey Atwood, Jamie McMurray, and Jimmy Johnson as Daytona Road Course winners. Uh, in my opinion, the most prestigious road course on the circuit, man. Let me tell you, man, that's a, pr that's a pretty big deal to win the Daytona Road Course. Now, we're going to the Pepsi 400, the final race of the wild card stretch. And then after that, it's back to business at Chicago, Atlanta, and Pocono. Now, look, this could be uh, one of the last opportunities for... Uh, upset win before the final 10 races of the year. Let's get an updated point standing. So after finishing 5th place, we gained a little bit of points, but not much. 162 points uh, about at ninth place. But our points leader is Jeff Gordon with Sterling Martin's first win of 2005, his 20th overall career win. Uh, he's only 8 points out, guys. He's still in it. So the championship is anywhere but decided. Johnson's not out of it, even though he's had a, a string of bad luck. We're going to the Daytona uh, race. I think we're going to run the peel-out reel and joint. Let's go to the Pepsi 400. All right, folks. Qualified 41st tonight for the Pepsi 400. I know qualifying has been it's been atrocious, but we're going to get better in that. We're going to get better. We're going to get better. We're going to keep digging. Here we go. Let's go ahead and sit it down. Track side for the Pepsi 400. Three race ceremonies. Tonight, it's super speedway action under the lights. MRN is live at the Daytona International Speedway this evening with flag-to-flag -flag coverage of the Pepsi 400. This track is known by everyone, race fan or not, but for these race teams, it's a glory all its own when you can get a win here. There's no doubt about it, and a lot of these NASCAR and Winston Cup drivers will tell you that it's really no different winning here than anywhere else. But those are the guys who haven't done it yet. Once their name is in the history books here, I guarantee you they'll change their mind. Jimmy Spencer won two races in 1994, but wound up 29th in the standings. How does that happen? Well, he had 11 DNFs, that's how. Each time you fail to finish a race, it almost completely wipes out one of those good finishes. The points championship is all about consistency. The 31 car really needs a good finish in this race. He's got a long way to go on the points list. And how frustrating that must be. You're working just as hard as everyone else, yet you just can't seem to finish well on race days to gain the valuable points you need. These guys need a good finish just to regain their confidence as a team. Jeff Burton is clinging to a top 10 points position coming into this race. You know, all these guys are very happy with their top 10 season so far. Hopefully they can mount a charge that will pick them up some more points on the leaders. Engines are fired here down at Daytona. It's Bart Bart, Tony Stewart on the front row. And wow, here we go. Wow, great Biffle. Get you some in the top six. Qualified in row three. Now, we qualified terrible. Look, we missed, we missed it completely at Talladega. We missed it completely at California. We got to get better. You know, we have, we, this is that unofficial halfway point. If we're going to have a legitimate shot to win this championship, we got to be consistent. We're going to be consistent. We're going to have to win a lot of races, and we cannot have any more mulligans, man. We've got to keep digging. Look, the Daytona road course, that really helped us out. But guess what, man? This is it. We're already time for the Pepsi 400. It's it's time to go racing. It's Saturday night here in Florida. Let's go for it, man. we got to win this thing, man. we got to have that mentality here on out till Homestead. Anyone can win this championship, but I just, as DW would always say, don't beat yourself. Here we go. Green flag at Daytona. I'm hoping that the gear ratio is going to help us because the qualifying was atrocious. So I'm hoping what we did is going to help this race car get faster and faster. Oh boy, it's going to take a while to get up to speed, though. I will say that. Let's see if this thing's any better than uh, what it was at Talladega. Whoa, these guys are slowing up big time. Holy sheesh. These dudes are 
dragging the brake. Almost going three wide. I'll, I'll, I'll help you, Jeff Green. I'll help you. Gas pedal, baby. Go, go, go. There's the 175 on the outside. I mean, we're, we're digging right now at Daytona, man. We got we can't hit the, the brakes. We got to go full throttle, man. Got to go for it. Got to keep digging. Get a run. There we go. Huge run. Huge run. There we go. There we go. There we go. Keep digging. Underneath the 26 car. Looking. Trying to get a nose in. There's Ward Burton. Our brother. Oh, 26 in a bind there. A little contact between Jeff Burvis and Jeff Burton with Todd Bodine. Uh, Ricky Craven on the outside. They're very aggressive at Sonoma. Uh, he still has not won in a long time, man. I tell you what. Craven needs a victory. Car's handling so much better. It's so much faster than what it was in qualifying. Definitely the changes worked. Thank you, Jesus. I mean, we're peaking at 195, bro. We couldn't even hit 185 back in Talladega. We finally fixed the gear ratio issues. We got the car. We got a good engine in this forward, man. I'll tell you what. It's got a good engine. Let's go out here. Let's have some fun. Let's try to win this thing, man. Everything is on the table. Two tires, no tires. Whatever it takes. We need the points. We need the win. We're going for it tonight. There's Ricky Craven. Trying to see if we can push his forward up. Underneath Terry Labonte. Oh, they're checking up a little bit. Had a burp the, had a burp the throttle. See if we can try to pull up to that 32 joint again. Oh, he's going to go to the outside. Well, thank you, Craven. Thank you. Got to do his best. Got to do his, what's best for him. Uh, Terry Labonte's going to pull down. I mean, the thing's running 190. That's pretty darn fast, man. I gotta say, that's pretty darn fast. It's a 16-lap race, so it's four laps shorter than the 500. Uh, we still will have a pit stop around lap, around lap eight. Uh, we'll get a top five update here. Oh, if I get get the car straight, there we go. Okay, let's get a top five update. Tony Stewart, Mark Martin, jo Johnny Benson, Jimmy Spencer, and uh, Linda Latuick uh, is out front here at Daytona. Trying to catch Steve Park, man. We're, we're fast, but these cats are fast too. We cannot let off the gas here. We gotta. If they check up, so be it. Got to stay full throttle. Come on, there we go. Get a good draft, side draft of 22. There we go. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! They're bobbling. Whoa, man, that was close. I seen the 32 jump out of line, and the one started to slow down. Had to go to the inside there, but that actually worked. We gained a few spots. There's McMurray, but we roughed up. Pretty much right where his car is right now to get that top five spot. But they got the road course all cleaned up. And we are racing for the Pepsi 400. Having a jolly good time here at Daytona. Got your snacks on deck. Hope you're having a great one, folks. 36th place. We're moving on up there just slowly but surely. And like I said, two tires, no tires. Everything is on the table tonight. I'm willing to try anything. Want to win this race? I want to get a good top ten. That's what I'm looking for. Ooh, one car trying to jump out of line there. He couldn't do it. We were there on the bottom. There are the seven cars going to pinch us down. A little bit of revenge. We're going to blow the doors off his car. Everyone single file to the bottom. Are they pitting this early? Yes, they are. They are coming down to uh, pit alley. We're giving them some service. Now I'm not really to, ready to pit yet. I want to pit with the leaders. That's kind of my mentality right now is pit with the leaders. And we're going to try to take two. We're going to try to gamble. You know, if we take left side tires and we take a full tank of fuel, we'll be good to go. We're lap six and we're almost at half tank of fuel. So we could probably run to about lap 11, lap 12 at the absolute latest. So take that for what you will. But the two-tire strategy is going to work best when other cars are on pit road. Because if they're on pit road, they're not in the draft. They're not faster than us, right? But if we do the two-tire stop while they're in the draft, we come out as a single file car, it ain't going to help. So we need to make sure we have a drafting partner once we get off pit road. Meaning we need to pit with other cars. Top five update. Tony Stewart still out there. Uh, hot dog and trying to get a win here at Daytona. Uh, Jimmy McMurray in the 7 car. If you're new to, new to this series. Uh, he's no longer driving the 2070. Hot behind the 7 car in 03. And 
uh, he's done he's done pretty decent. Not too good, but pretty decent. Looks like 36 is going to help us draft down the back straight away. Who's your leader? Still, it's going to be Tony Stewart. He has not made his service yet. Someone's going to have to pit. I want to pit with someone, though. I want to try a two-tire stop, man. I want to try to gain some track position. These cats are coming in. Last minute call, we're coming in. That dude's clearly speeding on pit road. Uh, we're going to take no damage. We're going to take left side tires, loosen the car up, full tank of fuel, lower t air pressure. Um, yeah, we're going to take the two tire gamble. We're going to try it and see if it works. We need a flawless pit stop, though. We need a flawless pit stop. 11.6, not too bad, but still a little rough around the edges. No, we needed a faster pit stop than that. Took the gamble. We only took left side tires to save time, and maybe they'll give us an extra five spots. This dude's about to pass us on the access road. I've never had an AI pass us on the access road. That's insane. So that dude's clearly faster on the get up and go. McMurray's right behind us. We made a last minute call to come to pit road. Luckily, we didn't get run over. The 26 car blew the doors off through the speed limit. I don't know how he didn't get called for that. I mean, the dude literally was at least 15 miles per hour faster than us when he went down pit road. So, unfortunately, the game doesn't have a pit road speed limit for the AI. Like, it doesn't, if they if they blow it, it doesn't penalize them, unfortunately. Or maybe it does. I don't know. That's, that'd be something I'd have to check the code for, which I have no clue how to do that. But I don't think it does penalize them. Anyways, so we're 40th place right now. Let's see how everything shakes out. We gained about two to three seconds on that pit stop, taking only two. And we didn't get held up either, so take that for what you will. Some cats might take two as well. But, uh, we're trying to get up to speed, and let's see how this, this whole thing shakes out, folks. All right, finally, we got around Craven. 39th, are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? There's got to be some other cars that haven't pitted yet. Did they get through Clane? Wow, it's a freaking miracle they did, but the AIs are going to slow up behind us. 26 car, we could use these guys as a pick. And that would help slow the 26 down. I think that's Jeff Green right there at the tail end. Shame, uh, we made contact with him, didn't mean to, but we got a slew of cars in front of us, and somehow we, we just lost a crap load of track position. Tony's still out front. I don't think Tony's pitted yet. I still think he has to pit. He might be waiting to the last moment. I don't know. We'll have to see how this plays out, guys. We're 39th. So a bunch of cars have not pitted yet. There's no way we're going to finish 39th in this race. There's just no way. That's ridiculous. Oh, we got an engine expiring up here. Oh, no! Oh, no, that could be bad. Yep, we just crashed straight into Jeff Green again. Sorry about that, dude. Engine just blew up in front of us, and, well, there goes any opportunity to catch in the main pack. We're about to scoot on by these two cats, probably. Oh, no. 175, watch out. Well, that sucks. So Jonathan's going Jonathan's gonna to fall in line. We're at 36 right now. Lap 13 out of 16. That was a crazy incident there. Engine expired, and... They just brake checked hard. So it looks like Tony Stewart's going to siphon enough gas to get through the finish. Oh, dang it, man. This is a miserable finish. And we took two. How did we lose this much track position, man? Man, this is frustrating. This is frustrating. Checkers are waving. It looks like Tony Stewart got his second win of the year. He won Bristol earlier in the spring, but he could be going to victory lane tonight in the Pepsi 400. And if you remember correctly, uh, good old Jeff Gordon I've won this race in 04, I think. And Tony Stewart won this race in 05. We're going to block McMurray to the line. We're going to come home 36 at Daytona. Miserable effort. Big damage on the nose. How did we go? How did we lose this one? Tony Stewart gets the W. And look at that. Johnny Benson in fourth place. Ken's a... And Mark Martin Roush Coutier second and third. Well, that was uh, disappointing. So we got 36th place, miserable points today. Johnson finishes behind us. That could very well write us off in the championship hunt. Sure, we still got a lot of races left to go, but man, that is not how you want to 
uh, hit the halfway point. Starlin Marlin, who won the Daytona Road Course, finishes 15th. Ricky Rudd, another championship contender, 12th. Of course, Gordon, Wallace, Giants, or Jarrett, excuse me, Martin, and Stewart all in the top 10. Oof, uh, Junior's in there too. And another another great run for Darrell Wolf. But man, not how we needed this race to go. I don't know where we went wrong, guys. I really don't. We pitted where I thought we needed to. Uh, we didn't get caught speeding. We even took two tires. And somehow we still lost 10-something spots. I, I don't understand it. I know there was a lot of uh, you know people pitting, a lot of people not. Not too sure what what went wrong, but we'll go on next week. Uh, the next race at Chicagoland Speedway is going to be a night race. So last year it was a day race. Nope. This year it's going to be a night race. So we got something to look forward to. Thank you all so much for watching the video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you never miss any of my new content, guys. Appreciate all those who tune in. Like comment and subscribe let me know what y'all think about this race in the comment section below once again guys i appreciate every single one of you who subscribe and watch my videos i appreciate it greatly man i i i've been wanting to do this i've been wanting to do this stuff since i was 12 years old man i appreciate it hope you have a great one diecast buffet signing off